So finally, I cleared UGC net with Jen. So basically, we have two papers. Paper one, which includes ten units, that is the teaching. Hi everybody, this is Dr. Charita, and welcome back to my channel, MBH Capsule Talks. So finally, I cleared UGC net with JRF in public health, and I enrolled in JIPMER for the PhD program. A lot of people has been asking me, especially through LinkedIn, like how I cleared UGC net. Mostly, they wanted to know the strategies I followed to clear this. As you can see, most of my topics in my channel are exactly the same syllabus as that of the UGC net for public health. So I started preparing almost two years, but like everyone else, even I didn't have any clue on how to prepare for it. My first attempt for UGC net was horrible, where I didn't even clear for it, and JRF was way too far. Then I took out the syllabus for UGC net. I'll attach the link in the description box. So basically, we have two papers. Paper one, which includes ten units, that is, the teaching aptitude, research aptitude, comprehension, communication, mathematical reasoning and aptitude, logical reasoning, uh, data interpretation, information and communication technology people development and environment higher education system then we have the paper two so for public health people it will be social medicine and community health that again has 10 units including evolution and basic concepts of uh, public health evolution of health policies then we have the epidemiology and biostatistics social science and health epidemiology of common health pro problems in india and health programs basic determinants of health demography family welfare and rch health education iec and information technology in health health system research planning and management and recent advances in public health and international health Paper 1 will have 50 questions and paper 2 will have 100 questions. Each question carries 2 marks. So total we have 300 marks and 3 hours to write the exam. And there is no negative marks. Yay! Okay, so the next concern is how to study. With reference to my exams, which was in 2022, December, June, March cycle, I found that most of the questions followed a pattern. Referring the last year question papers helped me to a great extent. So if you want to get an idea on the question pattern, maybe I can brief a little bit. So you can focus on surveillance, their types, uh, demographic cycle, then about the health economics like the cost effectiveness, cost utility formulas, and all about mosquitoes. They're very interested in mosquitoes, I guess. So endemology, their the test, the slide test that can be done. Then about the waste management, color coding, and train yourself uh, for all those years like the epidemiological disease act, genini, suraksha uh, uh, policies, and uh, what are the other policies that has been established the year, the purpose, why it is established and so, then read about the vaccination schedule then about uh, the odds ratio relative risk all those formulas biostatistics then about the categories nominal ordinal uh, then parametric and non-parametric test correlation and also like uh, about the primary healthcare system their committees formulated and um, you can also read about uh, the various epidemiological diseases and their incubation time, duration, um, their agents, their uh, seasonal changes and uh, all about the types of errors and see there is a lot of questions I'm sorry that I, I would have messed up everything but it's all about epidemiology statistics and uh, nutrition policy and everything so I think if you're focusing on uh, the questionnaire itself so you will get an idea and go back read each of the topics and uh, make a hand note and you know, go through it revise it and here we go so start working on it it's not rocket science guys so if i can do you can definitely do it so all the best for your exam so guys if you like my channel please do subscribe to my channel uh, write your comments your doubts feedbacks everything see you soon with another video and till then bye bye